Hello again everybody, here is the Allen Mogul and as you can see the front uh, pilot, front truck is hanging precariously out in space. I've got the locomotive scooted forward and I, need, I did this on purpose. I've got clamps there to keep it from rolling off because that would not be very safe. i got clamps on either side. I wanted to show you the reason I did this is so I could get to the water pump and as I pointed out in my last video these copper pipes this one here is the supply this is the return line and the so the axle pump is right down below there let me sit down underneath here show you the light so you can see the front pilot front the, the pilot cow catcher thing the front truck it's got a modified pivot maybe I'll talk about that later we have to see how well that works but this is a uh, improvement to a simple improvement to change the pivot point of the lead truck to prevent it from derailing and um, I'll, like I said I'll talk about that later sometime but right now let me move the camera here you can see perhaps the big bar of brass there with the light shining right on it. It's kind of a lot of light, isn't it? But those are the two quote unquote easy access places where the little ball valves are inside the pump. And I want to, I'll just, I'm not going to hold the camera while I try to take those off. But I have put a, tried it with my um, trusty wrench here and I can reach as you can see I mean which this is the side so if you can see that I can reach it with a wrench I should be able to loosen both of those in a second and take them out and we'll at least be able to see the condition of the ball valves well before I terminate this video I want to point something out it was in 2014 that I built the pump so five years ago about let me show you here January, I tested it January 1st of 2015. See my little note there. This is the drawing I believe that Fred did for me that shows this is the uh, access points that I was just pointing out here, and the balls are inside there. So, um, and the inlet and outlet on either side, like that. So, I'll check those out and see how they work. The rest of the story, let me show you this. This is kind of cool. I was so glad I did this. As I was building the locomotive, what I would do is Xerox a section of the plans at a time, you know, and I'd have a page or two of the drawings, and then I would make a list and make notes on, you know, what, what did I need to do and keep track of it. And I kept track of the dates and all that. And you can see here, let me flip that back. It's kind of interesting. That was a a drawing, a sketch I was doing for an idea I had about an improved axle pump. But I would just take the you know, excess scrap paper that the family had and from the Xerox machine, just use that to make my copies and notes. But I'll, I'll kind of find it now. But just to show you, the, um, the it's nice to have all that information in a binder so you can flick back and look at it and find it pretty easily find the pictures and um, the notes and dates and things and if there was something that was needed to be corrected I probably made a note of it there so I've saved that I've got a, about three binders like that now so I'll take this apart check those balls the other thing I'll talk about it now I did get a uh, axle or excuse me a tender pump hand pump off the internet and it's on its way here now so my idea is to plumb that in pipe it into the water supply